Construction contracts administrators or lawyers, should you get them into your construction company at all? Should you just have project managers doing this stuff as a side hustle? Is this worth getting into your business or not? Is it gonna make a tangible difference to your bottom line? Let's talk about the overall issue that we have. So in construction, we've got two different things if we wanna make it really simple. We've got the constructing part, which you're gonna be filled with your project managers, your supervisors, all the people that are gonna do the work, and you're gonna build the thing or deliver the goods or whatever it is that you've produced in the construction industry. That's essentially the constructing part of it. The other side is the money side and the risk side. So a lot of construction companies have this problem where they start off as construction companies and they grow and they become better and better and better over time. And then they level out as a company. And they level out because they never really look at the money side of construction. They're just being good at doing what they're doing. So they started working as a scaffolding company, steel fabrication company, whatever it happens to be, went to site, did just focus on getting the job done and did an amazing job, got a good reputation, kept getting more work and going and going. And then people find that they've leveled out. And typically, that leveling out of a business where it stops growing is because it hasn't really corporatized yet. It hasn't really become a proper business. It's just still one guy who was really good at doing the one thing, running the show, making sure everything's done right. And now we're at a stage where we got to start looking at contracts and the finances to grow the businesses more and to change things around. And the reason that's important is because five to 15% of margin is won or lost on every project via the contracts. So understanding how the contracts works, how you can change the terms in your favor to have less risk so that your project margin can be higher and your cash flow can be higher, it makes a massive difference and is the real difference between the companies that are smaller and the companies that have been around for 50, 60, 70, 80 years. They understand that the contracts is where where the money is made. So once you're able to negotiate better terms and do it in a professional way where you look very professional like all the bigger companies do, once you understand how to submit for all of your changes, all of your delays in a professional way, once you understand how to get yourself out of a dispute before you get into a dispute, and once you're in a dispute, manage that situation as well, then all of those things start to add up and you get an additional five to 15% on every project. Also, there's the invisible cost of risk. So a lot of people think that risk is, you know, they just risk is part of construction, it is part of construction, it's always there, but sometimes you don't feel it because it hasn't happened to you. And I've seen a lot of companies just grow and grow and grow, and then they just get hit with something bad happens, they don't get paid by a client, a client goes out of business for whatever reason, and it sets them back five years. That's kind of what we wanna make sure it doesn't happen so you can continue to grow and grow and grow. So there's two different ways to tackle this issue, is one is to start looking at contracts administrators, contracts managers, contracts people to have in your business, or you can go the lawyer route and get lawyers into your business. So let's look at the pros and cons of each. Firstly, let's talk about the pros of lawyers. So lawyers are very knowledgeable in the contracts. They understand the contracts very, very, very well. And when it comes to a dispute, when you're actually in a dispute and then you have to go outside of the contract and go to law, go to court and stuff, obviously they're the people that you, you're gonna wanna choose. Cons, very, very, very expensive. And also most lawyers don't actually understand what's happening on a construction site. They can't relate the contract, they can only see risk Risk, but they can't see risk in terms of is that gonna actually happen in real life and that's where you get yourself into troubles where they're trying to negotiate stuff that doesn't actually matter in real life when you get a really good contracts administrator or contracts manager into your company they can handle everything essentially all the way up to going to court right which is very very important which is the majority of things if we can manage all of our contracts in such a way that we can avoid disputes obviously that's very very good contracts administrators and contracts managers just tend to be a lot more cost efficient than lawyers into your business. And that one of the main benefits is they should understand every part of the contract because they're construction experts, but they also understand what's happening on site. In addition to that, they can take that work away from the project managers and the project managers can just focus on getting the work done, delivering great work on site. And the contract administrators can just take care of the paperwork and the contract strategy to make sure that you're getting paid for your delays, getting paid for your changes, avoiding disputes and ultimately over time that makes a huge difference to your business. From my point of view I think contracts administrators, contract managers, quantity surveyors, these types of people in your business are worth their weight in gold. They help you extract that additional 5 to 15 percent out of a project. So if you want to look at the two of them, if you have a lawyer in your company typically they don't really help with the project 
itself. It's more when stuff goes wrong and avoiding stuff that can go wrong. The contracts administrators can help during the project to make sure that all of the financial metrics that you're looking to hit are being hit and that you're getting paid, you're not doing any free work. If you got any sort of value from this video, please click the subscribe button, drop a comment below, and we respond to every single comment that we have. So looking forward to chatting. Just quickly, I created an exclusive video on how the 1% of contractors and subcontractors in the world are making an additional 5 to 15% more margin and cash flow on every single project. It's a little known framework that they've been using for decades and decades. Head over to the description and click the link there and it'll take you to that exclusive video. Check it out now.